Good afternoon everyone. So I've actually just gotten home from work like half an hour ago and I wanted to film a video because I love to upload every Wednesday and Sunday. It is currently Wednesday so I have left it to last minute but that's okay because I do like to, I don't like to pre-film too much because I want it to be kind of current and what my thoughts are in that moment and the last like two days I've been watching a lot of what's in my bag videos and it's kind of inspired me to do an updated one. So before I get into it, I thought I would show you what I wore to work today because I did a little bit of an outfit of the day over on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I'm starting to use TikTok a little more and you guys seem to really like it and I don't get to show you guys as much of that kind of stuff here on YouTube because obviously it's more sit down videos. So I wore this beautiful cotton on vest. Um, it's like a quilted kind of vest. I've got a white long sleeve that I purchased from Perfect Stranger and then I've just got some Zara mum jeans. Oh my god, I might have to move back. Apologies for the angle, but you kind of get the gist. I really don't have much space to show you, but yeah, white long sleeve, a vest, black jeans, and then I had black loafers as well. And then I paired it with my vintage Gucci Diner tote. So if you want any links to anything that I wear or anything from my wardrobe, head to my Instagram. I've got a highlight there and I just link everything. Um, I also have a like to know it profile if you're on there. So anyway, that's what I wore today. But the bag I wanted to talk about in particular is the beautiful Gucci bamboo backpack. Because as some of you would know, I purchased this a couple of weeks ago. I have not stopped using this, guys. I moved some stuff into the larger bag, obviously, for work purposes. But this is the bag I have been using religiously every day. And I wanted to show you what exactly fits inside and how I've been using it because I have never had so much engagement on a bag before like likes messages comments um, everyone seems to love this little backpack so I thought I would show you exactly what kind of fits I looked around the house for a small kind of water bottle like a 600 ml water bottle um, because I do think it would fit in here quite well but I honestly don't have one I've only got my big kind of um, one liter kind of bottles but if you were wondering I believe it would fit like a 600 ml water bottle. So I have everything that I would need in here and I'm just going to go through it. I do have an organizer in this bag. It comes to about here and I popped it in there just to help keep it shape. It is a felt organizer for a Gucci Soho disco bag. Um, so obviously a smaller bag, but I already owned it and I just tried to see if it fit in here and it did perfectly. So I don't know, it just helps to maintain structure and then also when I'm putting things in and out of my bag, it helps to keep everything organized. So let's just go through. Um, you basically just open the bag by popping this little button there, open it up. There's a little drawstring, which I have really enjoyed the draw, drawstring because when I'm out and about and I just have this bag on one shoulder, as I swing it around to access my bag, I kind of even just leave that part popped up if I need to access in and out. And I just use the drawstring. Um, although I do live in a place where there's not like no one really pickpockets or anything. So I would say that if you are traveling and you're worried about that, then obviously I wouldn't do that. But if you are someone that's in a safe area and you feel as though you can, you want to get in and out of your bag, definitely just use the drawstring to kind of keep it closed and stop everything falling out. So you open it like that and there is everything inside. Like I said, it's quite full and I'm just going to start by pulling out whatever I can see. So the first thing is a handbag cleansing wipe. Um, I received a few of these from my friend Lou here on um, YouTube and they are great to just have in your bag because that way if anything was to spill on my bag or inside my bag, I can use this to kind of clean it up. It's almost like a little baby wipe, but it's just like a single use. So I just keep that in there. It doesn't take up much room at all. Um, I then have, this is like a little pouch of a, like it's like a little emergency kit really. It just has a couple of tampons, a couple of bobby pins and some hair ties. So yeah, I always like to keep that on me. Um, I almost should put some concealer in my bag because lately I've been breaking out so bad and it would just be nice to kind of touch up my spots if I'm out and about. Um, it's just something that I've noticed that I've kind of needed while I'm out. Um, and then what else have we got? Got my trusty reusable bag. I rave about these. I got it from, we've got like a dollar store and it was about a dollar. Um, you can use any reusable bag, but they are so handy to have. I literally have one in every one of my handbags and I use them all the time. So definitely get yourself one of those. Um, I'm just going to pull out this bulky item. I got a new pair of sunglasses. So I have always worn my YSL sunglasses. They're just a brown 
frame pair of sunglasses, nothing amazing, um, but they're just very comfortable and they go with everything. And my Ray-Bans broke, which were the wire frame, and I was just on the hunt for something a little more groovy, I guess. So I purchased these ones from Depop. They are the brand called Velvet Canyon, which is a really beautiful sunglasses brand. And they are this stunning green color. Like, look at that. I absolutely love the color. And then you've just got on the side there a little Velvet Canyon. But I absolutely love these. They just add a little bit of color to your outfit, especially because a lot of my outfits are quite basic. Um, and I just love them. The lens is quite see-through, but I actually really love that. They still keep your eyes protected, but it's just not so dark, you know, so you can kind of see everything. So I really, really love these. I got them for $150 off um, Depop and I think they retail for about 250 so there's a little bit of a saving there. I then have my Chanel hand cream. I didn't use this for a long time because I almost wanted to kind of save it and just lately I've just been using it. I'm like oh who cares like what am I just never going to use it. So it's really really nice nothing crazy but it's just very lightweight um, and it just smells really luxurious so I really do love this. The next thing is of course my phone. This is just the iPhone. I think it's the 13 Pro. So um, yeah just an iPhone and I've got a beautiful black kind of leather case with my initial on the bottom um, from the brand called The Daily Edited and I just wanted something plain for my phone and yeah I don't get sick of this case at all. I then have my car keys. So this is my trusty four key holder. In here, um, it holds all of my fobs and my keys for the gym, for work, keys for the house. And then up the top, it's just got my car key. And a lot of people um, who have these, you kind of got a sticky car key out the top because the way these are designed, I think are for like kind of smaller keys. So yeah, sticking it out the top is fine though. And it does kind of keep it all from anything in your bag getting scratched. So I really do love this. I did look at selling this and potentially getting the monogram one, but I don't know, with this whole quiet luxury thing, I'm kind of falling in love with the Damier um, Abin print again because it is a little more quiet. So yeah, I'm starting to like that um, monogram again or print or whatever it is. So I think I'll hold on to that. Now, the next thing is of course my beautiful wallet. This is a vintage Chanel wallet. And yeah, guys, I'm still using this. I don't think I'll ever go back to a card holder at this stage because it does hold some coins. And that has been really, really handy. So I really do love having like a small wallet that has that um, rather than a card holder. So even though I swore by card holders for so long, I'm just really enjoying that. And I don't even have an urge to change back into anything else. And then I have this little pouch to keep all of my lip products and perfume. So these mesh, this mesh like pouch I got from eBay and it came with a smaller one and a larger one. The larger one you can fit heaps in. Um, I thought the smaller one would be really good for a handbag just to keep everything kind of organized. So I've got a few lip um, glosses in here. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I really, really love this. As you can see, it's kind of almost clear. So it's just like a little bit of gloss, um, you know, just to jazz it up a little. I then have my Zara perfume. Um, you guys have probably seen this heaps of times. Any roll-on perfume just lasts so long. So I've got that in there. I also have this. This is the Revolution Makeup Juicy Pout. This I thought looked a lot like the Dior Lip Oil. Um, and it smells really good. And it's gloss, but it's not as thick as a gloss. So I guess it is more like an oil. So if you come across any of these by Makeup Revolution, definitely pick them up. They are just, smells so good. And like I said, it's very thin and lightweight, but still glossy. So absolutely love that. And then of course I keep a lip balm in here for the times where I just feel like a lip balm. So I'm using the, this is just a Chanel lip balm. Um, again, this is something I wasn't really using because I got it for my birthday. Same with the hand cream. So I was like, oh, I'll just keep it, you know, and not use it too much. But yeah, then I was just never using it. So anyway, I absolutely love this just to give my lips a little bit of hydration. So that's what's in that pouch. And then in this front pocket here, you simply twist it and then you can access this front pocket. And in here, I have my AirPods and my iPhone cord um, because they're kind of easy access and I use them all the time. So we've got my AirPods in the same matching case as my phone. Um, again from the daily edited and then I've got my cord now this is usually to charge my airpods because I always forget to charge them at night I always charge my phone but never these so I always carry a cord with me and I'm using a 
um, cord organizer for this. This is just like a leather cord organizer. Um, it is a game changer. I always used to use hair ties, but this is just really nice because you can just like unclip it and clip it. Guys, that is a sneak peek as to what one of my products are for my little side hustle, my little small business. I'll of course let you guys know when all of that is launching, but that is one of the items that I will be selling. It's just like a little um, cord organizer because I just tried to think of things that I was missing and things that I found hard to come by on the internet. And I felt like in my handbag, the one thing that I was kind of using all the time for either earphones or any kind of cords was hair ties. And I was a bit like, and then they would snap and they would just get a little bit old. So anyway, that's why I actually hand make these myself. And yeah, I'll obviously let you all know when they're for sale. So that is everything that's in my bag, guys. Now, I have also added the dog collar to this little bamboo handle. I don't know if I showed you guys that last time. I don't think it had arrived yet. But this is like the smallest kind of dog collar you can get. Um, again, it's off eBay. I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I just put it on the top there just to keep the handle in shape and it's just really cute you can hardly it's quite discreet obviously you could add a colored one if you wanted a pop of color I I just went for the black just because yeah I, I don't know I just like an all black kind of situation so that sits there really nicely um, the bag is completely empty now now I do have a side pocket in there there is like a little zip that you could use um, to keep all your lip balms or anything like that I personally let me feel how big it is actually yeah, it's quite a large pocket like you could definitely fit um at least like three or four lip balms in there but again i just don't really use it because i've got that little pouch but if you wanted to you could um and then you've got the organizer in there i'll show you the size of the organizer this one here is just from kd australia and like i said it's for a gucci soho disco bag so it's that kind of size and i guess you can kind of see what the base of the bag looks like inside it's literally that big so if you put a sunglasses case for reference like it takes up that much space if you know what I mean I don't know if you guys can kind of get a gist of the size of the bag but anyway it packs a punch you can fit way more in this bag than I thought but it's also a mini bag I was worried when I looked on the listings one of the biggest things I was worried about because I had never seen one in person I was worried it's gonna, it was going to be a weird medium-sized backpack that's not like you know you can't just throw it with an outfit because it looks like a backpack so I just thought, oh, is it an awkward size? It's not a big backpack, but it's not a small one. It's kind of just like a weird overall size. On camera, it comes across that way. But guys, this is a mini bag. Um, I want to see if there's anything I can compare it to. Let's compare it to my Gucci Soho Disco bag because this is um, the same kind of size in the base, but it's an everyday kind of run around bag. This is when you run your errands, you can fit everything you need in. Um, this is why this bag is so popular because it is just so durable and just such a good size. But for reference, this is the difference in sizes. So you know what I mean? Like it's actually, guys, I think it's the same. It's the same size as a Gucci Soho Disco. The only difference is it comes up at the top and obviously cinches in. So if you're wondering what size it is, definitely, yeah, it's like this. So if you want to look up any outfit inspiration of this bag to see how it would look on your body, um, yeah, this is about the same size, see? So yeah, the perfect bag for every single day. Not too small, not too big. Um, again, you can dress it up or dress it down. I have been wearing it very casually. I don't think I would dress this bag up um, just because it is a mini backpack and just, I have other bags for more evenings that I never get the chance to wear. So when I do, I kind of would reach for them. But if you wanted to, I guess you could dress it up. You could add like a little chain to it. Um, you could do anything with this bag. So yeah, I highly recommend. They come in so many beautiful colors, different leathers. I really love the suede ones as well. Um, there's so many different options, but if you are thinking about getting one, I would definitely look into getting one sooner rather than later because like I said, I have never had so many people so interested in a bag before. So that just means that everyone's going to be kind of looking for them as well. So there's still plenty available. If you guys are struggling and you have a particular color that you would like or anything, let me know. I am more than happy to help. I'm browsing eBay all the time. So if you want me to send you a link of anything that I've found, just let me know. I often share links on my Instagram story of any handbags that I've come across that I think is a really great deal, but that's just me kind of browsing. But if I know that there's something in particular that you're looking for, 
I can help you. So please don't hesitate to message me either. Um, leave a comment below or message me on Instagram. I would be more than happy to help. So if you have any questions about this bag at all, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. It's nice to give you guys a little bit of an update. I have been so excited to show you my new sunglasses as well because I do plan to show them in my next Depop haul video. But I just, uh, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to show you guys yet. So absolutely loving those. Definitely always buying sun just literally everything off Depop clothes accessories and I'm also looking at a pair of boots that I might buy so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that video as well anyway guys I hope you have a lovely night I'm gonna go ahead and have a shower I'm going to get in comfy clothes and edit this video anyway the sun is going down rapidly I'll catch you all in my video on Sunday bye guys mm -hmm.